Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, here we are again. I got a, another truck up on the bench today for a review. Uh, I've had this one for a while. We got the Traxxas UDR. Uh, but before we get going, I just want to do a shout out to someone special. Come to find out, I got a fan out there named Billy. And uh, he loves watching my channels and he's all into mechanical things and how things work. And I just wanted to give him a shout out and say, Billy, thank you for watching, buddy. Uh, and here's another one for you and I hope you like it. Keep watching, please. I really appreciate it. And that goes to everyone out there who's watching my videos. Anyway, to continue on, you got the Traxxas UDR. Uh, awesome piece of machinery here. Uh give you a little view here of it all the way around I mean this truck is just awesome looking uh, pretty scale for a Traxxas product uh, as you can see it's got the fire extinguisher bottles and the fans up in the back there it's got a spare dry shaft and containers with uh, oil and stuff in it and spare tires just like the real racing trucks and run across the deserts and uh, very very cool looking truck uh, before I forget I just want to say quick all these things these tires and that dry shaft are actual spares that can be used on the truck so you could actually dismount these and actually put them onto the vehicle and uh, I think that's really cool how Traxxas did that with this truck. Not only is it a cool scale feature, but it's actually usable on the truck. And um, speaking from experience there, uh, we first got this. We were running batteries after batteries after batteries in this truck, jumping on the hill in the front yard. And my son blew the dry, uh, dry shaft out there and took it right off and put it right in. We were back in business. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It's just a cool little feature about this truck. Um, price range on this truck is 700 and change. Um, thought it was a little steep for this truck. Uh, until you run this truck and the speeds that this truck goes and the engineering that actually went into this truck, like the actual suspension system in the rear here with the shocks, they actually fold up and fold up and inside with the truck which is awesome and this thing just runs across rough terrain with no problems it just absorbs and sucks everything up it's a great running truck uh, I was a little hesitant on buying it um, due to the fact that uh, the body screwed on uh, I'm a maintenance guy myself I fix big trucks for a living uh, and I was like, oh man, every time something breaks, you know, this is an RC car. And we smash these things around pretty time. Time I got to fix something, I got to take the top off. But it's just not the case on this one. Uh, Traxxas has built this truck, so everything is accessible from down below. So there's no need to take the top off to do maintenance every time this whole plate here actually gets unscrewed and comes off and all the main guts and all the stuff is there and of course the diffs are all open in the rear and the same with the front there but uh when i took the dry shaft out or my broke the dry shaft broke my son was using it should i say i said oh well here we go we're gonna see how things go and you know the the cover came right off drive shaft i think like i had it in like five ten minutes uh, the one screw gave me a hard time. They had quite amount of lock tight on the uh, set screw to hold the dry shaft in, which was good. I just had to heat it up a little bit, get it off. Um, but I was like, no problems. And so far, I've had this truck for probably a good six months now, and we use it quite a bit. Um, and uh, really no complaints on anything really majorly going wrong. I have had a few problems with this truck. Um, the link here, the dog bone link to the rear end, or stabilizer link, or main link, whatever you want to call it there, is uh, 
they actually on the their plastic on the uh that come with the model and it actually was like buckling in on itself and i saw that and then i started looking online and i got this set here it's actually gpm uh ordered them from china uh, i will say if you do do that and order these aluminum links awesome deal great they've been holding up awesome they look great uh you can get them stateside just try to find someone stateside who has them you might pay like ten dollars more but you're not going to wait uh like a month to get them like i did and that kind of took along the satin customs i think for a long time uh anyway um great deal i think i forty dollars forty two dollars for all the new stainless steel uh screws and the aluminum uh, links not bad uh, the other thing I did here let's see if I, I mocked up this tire to come off I upgraded the hubs let's see if I get a better angle that here for everyone uh, yeah, sorry about the camera bouncing around everyone all right there you go sorry about that I only got one hand and a camera cell phone I'm doing all this videotaping in uh, but on here you see they actually with more scale but another purpose besides just being scale and cool looking they got a rotor there like a disc brake rotor and this rotor they actually have um, the caliper there this one's broken off and missing but as you can see see if I can get up and in there on that well, that's a little too dark but uh they got a caliper as well. You can get them in aluminum. Uh, the original ones that came with this on this rotor were plastic. Uh, I had problems with the actually stripped off. And the inside with the pin that holds everything on it, it just blew apart. The pin locked up within the plastic. The wheel locked up and was dragging. Uh, so I had to get a whole new hub and everything. So uh, those are hot racing. I got those ones from. Uh, I think they were $20 for each set, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. Uh, when you buy them, there's a package of uh, just two. I did the front and rear since this is four-wheel drive. And uh, that seemed to fix the problem. This is the plastic with the power and the structs just wasn't holding it. Just would not hold it. Uh, like I said, this strong is, truck is fast. It is strong. It'll go. Uh loads and loads of fun i definitely have a lot of fun on this truck um and i think that's about the only problems that i have had no steering servo issues uh no famous traxxas esc issues um nothing uh the truck's been taking the abuse that's been given so far now the one thing i will say about this truck this truck is awesome and you have fun to me it's a different rc truck uh it's not like a monster truck where you're out there you run across the pavement onto loose dirt tight you know well packed dirt onto the race course uh this truck is like built and performs i'd say like the real you know desert running truck uh, you come across pavement on this thing. I mean, you can run it on pavement, but you better watch yourself. You're throttling and you yank that wheel too hard. This sucker is going end over end over end over end. Um, it just doesn't handle it well. Uh, but when you're in loose dirt and you want to take a corner at full speed, this truck's going to take it and hang on to that corner. It drifts and slides just like the real race truck. It, it's awesome. It's just a, it almost drives to like scale uh if that makes sense it's just not like you're like it's not like the x max or or like a, a short course truck i mean this thing is just drives different it's hard to explain until you you really drive it uh but tons of fun you come ripping around the corners and you got the wheels cranked and the rear ends coming around the dirt's flying and it's whole i mean you can take turns with this thing as long as you're in loose gravel and in sand and dirt truck's awesome not so great on the pavement uh the other thing too this this truck will jump and takes jump and takes jumps and will jump it just jumps also totally different um believe it or not even with all the tires and everything in the back the front of this truck is very very nose heavy um 
taking big jumps. You know, you, going across rough terrain, you're hitting jumps. It'll, you know, bumps that are naturally in the earth. Um, it'll absorb it up. It'll take them. It'll, she'll get airborne. Suspension will, you know, stretch and chassis, you know, the front ends and the rear ends are dropping down. The truck's, you know, the body's separating from the axles and stuff. And it, it looks awesome. And it'll take it where my X-Max will probably end up tire over tire because it just couldn't absorb uh, the energy from whatever bump you hit like that where this one will uh, like I said you can take it off hills and stuff like that get some good air Sh she'll jump pretty level like that you got to really stay on the gas keep that front end up but if you build a ramp and try to jump this thing it just doesn't it's not a jumper like that uh, you're not doing backflips with this truck uh, you, you know you're not really you can bring it to a skate park I, I don't think it's gonna I never have uh, I've seen some people do it and you know, you're really beating this truck, you know, you're coming home with some broken pieces It's just not really meant for that type of bashing uh, Open fields Loose dirt baseball fields, stuff like that. That's what this truck's meant to run on You know, you're not gonna go to some motocross track and and run this thing or you know, some RC off-road race course Just not just not really suited for that um, Or I haven't found it to be you know, with the fun factor, you know, I've taken it on my little race course here. I got set up with a few, you know, man-made jumps. She just don't take jumps that well. Um, you can, but it really does do a hurting on the truck. And I think that's a lot of why I took those hubs out. Because I was jumping it and jumping it and jumping it. And every time I'm landing, I got the, you know, the throttle at full board to try to keep the front end up. So this thing lands. Uh, you know level because when you don't this front end takes one heck of a beating And I'll have to give credit to those bumpers as thin as they are and little ever how they got it mounted in there I've nosedived this thing and like oh man, I'm gonna have problems and Over and over and over again, and I haven't had one yet in the front end So I'll give them credit on that, but like I said not to keep going on it's just not a real It's not a basher truck where you want to go to you know to a skate park or you know you got a piece of plywood laid up and you want to you know get massive air it's, it's just not one of those trucks uh it's just not really built for it's built for that more scale racing on loose rough terrain uh you know with not big jumps but uh i don't want to keep going on about that so anyway i want to wrap this up i'm going to give this uh truck i'm going to give it a seven on the fun factor uh, the reason I gave it a seven, uh, it's kind of a pricey little bit of a truck. I don't think it's really bad for what you get, but it's, it's a little up there. Uh, and in relation to that, it's not a real big air do backflips type of truck. I think that kind of hurts it on the fun factor there a little bit, but if you want to just rip around and hit some speeds and whip this sucker sideways and, you know, and just tear things up and speed on the ground with you know and, and just sliding sideways and going crazy and and donuts and everything else i mean this is the thing this is the truck to do it with she's just she hangs on and it just looks cool and is reacts doing so those things to scale it, it's very cool you, you have to use it to see it i'm gonna have to throw up some videos uh when this thing in action and then you'll understand what I'm saying. I mean this it, it really performs to scale Yeah, and it, it it's really neat uh, So that's where I put it for the fun factor uh, The durability I Haven't had a lot of problems with a lot of the beating that this truck has gotten Especially since we were trying to jump it for a long time there And she's not it's not really built to take jumps like that not too many problems besides the uh, the arms and the rear door didn't even break. I just saw it was becoming a problem, so I fixed it. So I can't really knock it for that. Uh, the hub's air stripped. I think that's, again, my fault trying to jump it with the wheels at full speed landing all the time. Uh, and the drive shaft, I just think that was a fluke. Hasn't happened since then. So on the durability, I want to give it a thumbs up. It's just, she's taking it, keeps doing it, and keeps taking it. It's just a uh, good, well-built truck by Traxxas, another one. They're really on the market right now. They're really at the top of their game, I think, right now. And I uh, I just hope they continue. 
So, uh, like I said, on the fun factor, I give it a 7. I'm out of here. I just want to say thanks to everyone. Billy, giving you a shout again. Thanks for watching, buddy. Keep on watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.